In this video, I prove definitively that the Lord is aware, that I'm his anointed, that the people plot in vain, even though they're not giving me my rightful place, and I'll probably die soon without any being anywhere near to my rightful place. Okay, on this earth, I'll be at God's right hand, and I'll be destroying them in the afterlife. And God is scoffing at them. He's saying, I created you bitches. You're only alive because I allowed you to be. And when this guy finishes his trial, he's going to judge you in the afterlife as you come. Okay? Perhaps the only reason he doesn't end it right now is so he can keep him coming. You know? Keep training his top martial arts son to be a warrior to sm smash on your spirits. Okay? It certainly makes far more sense than anyone else's argument. Okay? And there's all these geeks that were like, well... You know, look at you, living with your parents, you know, and we're quite successful. And they're delighting in evil. They're drunk off the blood of the saints, so to speak. Okay, they're the offspring of vile excrement. Okay, that are allowed to be financially stable because they do despicable things and work for pedos. They're the types that look at the sa last samurai and think that he lost in the movie. They're the type to look at Jesus on the cross and think that Herod and Pilate and Caiaphas won and he lost. Just idiots. And they argue that they're smarter than everyone else at the same time. Those pompous, pretentious, arrogant, repugnant, deplorable, sniveling worms. Psalm 24. Well, actually, let's start with Psalm 2. We'll hit him with Psalm 24 and we'll wrap this up. Okay. Psalm 2. Why do the nations conspire and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth rise up and the rulers band together against the Lord and his anointed, saying, let us break their chains and throw off their shackles, right? Being liberated, the Statue of Liberty. They say, let us be secularists and not allow for the black king to rise. We'll treat him like a king, Rodney King, Martin Luther King, or any other king that they got their hands on, but the, the actual idea of a king. The one enthroned in heaven laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. He rebukes them in his anger and terrifies them in his wrath. You see my response versus everyone else's? I laugh at them. Not as controlled opposition. I laugh at them actually being God's anointed. The top martial arts ever. Okay? They have to resort to playing stupid about that. That's like you're a bunch of mice or a bunch of piglets. And you're looking at a leopard and you're like, oh, he's no different than a... It's fucking stupid. You are not Royal African Falcon Nigerian brain surgeon son, okay? You're not the anointed I am. You fucking idiots. Fools. He said, I have installed my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the Lord's decree. He said to me, you are my son. Today I have become your father. Proclaim, profound, proof, pro of. Exodus 53, the Lord is the word. Isaiah 42, 13. The Lord will march out like a warrior, like a champion, like a warrior. He will, like a mighty warrior, he will, he will, um, you know, raise the battle cry and stir up his zeal. Isaiah forty-two thirteen, Psalm forty-five. You are the most excellent of men. Gird your sword by your side, you mighty one, you mighty warrior. Ride forth in the cause of truth, humility, justice. You know the divine principles, the martial art principles. Proof pro of the martial art principles in their pure form from God, not Eastern philosophy, not allowed martial arts systems, but being persecuted for righteousness sake, for only theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And I am the king of kings. He said, I have installed my king on Zion. Remember uh, 2 Samuel 5, Jesus, uh, excuse me, David faces the Jebusites and takes the city of Zion, the city of David, the city of God. David faces Goliath, okay, against the odds. With just a slingshot, a guy with an armor bear, with an armor on, a shield, and spear, and helmet, okay, against them and all their technology, all their sabotage, and cheating. And I triumphed. God has installed me on Mount Zion. That was the formula. That's the archetype. That's the model to understand who's the king of kings. Galatians, there's no Jew or Gentile. Amos 9-7, are you not the same as the Cushites? O to, unto me, O children of Israel, I am the root and offspring of the idea that David is conveying in the story. I am the anointed installed on Mount Zion, so to speak, and otherwise. Zion is even on eyes scrambled. On is Ionu Heliopolis. Genesis 41, 45. 7. I will proclaim the Lord's decree. He has said to me, I have... Okay, he has said to me, you are my son, today I have become your father. Ask me and I will make the nations your inheritance, 
the ends of the earth, your possessions. You will break them with a rod of iron. You will dash them to pieces like pottery. And we see that at the end of Revelations 19 and beyond, that it's about me spiritually trampling on the nations and breaking them with my rod of iron, my staff, my scepter, my sword, symbols that make me the king of kings, symbols that don't need to actually have physical symbols, okay? I don't need to actually hold these things. It is the principle, it is the formula that has made me the king of kings. If you don't know I'm right, you're a fucking idiot. Read Psalm 2 over and over again. Watch this video over and over again until you get exactly what I'm saying. You non-warrior, craftsman, nerd, bookworm, sniveling cowards. Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. For he founded it on the seas and established it on the waters. Remember, the waters in Revelation stands for uh, the people. Moses, the name, the, the, the person said, uh, it was the Pharaoh, it was the Pharaoh's sister, I believe it was, Pharaoh's daughter or sister. She said, I have drawn him out of water. And she named him Moses, which comes from the root term, uh, Masha or something like that, which means to draw. To drawing on the righteous who have been killed for righteousness sake. Okay. Uh, who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in the holy place? Remember in Revelation, say, how long sovereign and true until you avenge our blood and, and punish the inhabitants of the earth? Okay. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? The one who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god. Remember First John 2, 15, do not love the world or anything in the world. Whoever loves the world, love for the Father is not in him. These people chose to find their lives in the world, in, the world, in militaries that are allowed, in martial arts systems that are allowed, in weightlifting systems that are allowed. They chose to be nerds and corporate guys. They found their life in the world. Those are false idols. Those, you know, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Elon Musk, the president, these people worship false idols, including themselves. They will receive blessings from the Lord, and vindication from God their Savior. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, God of Jacob. Lift up your hand, heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. Okay, so the gates. The Jesus said, I'm the gate. The anointed one is the gate. Uh, Psalm 2 makes that clear. Revelations, Jesus is born again into the world, into a woman. The woman and the dragon. Read that part of Revelation. That's my mother, and I'm the son. Okay. And the world is the dragon, the world serpent, the camp. They're in the camp. They're on board with these the, the spirit and the infrastructure and, and the governing class. Okay. Where were we here? Uh, okay, who is the king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Again, I tell you, who is the king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Not the nerd, not the craftsman, not the politician, not the military guy actual natural combat supernatural through the natural okay if david if david would have used a gun it would not have counted even if goliath had a gun too because that's not natural combat that's technology that's not sparring spirit spirit which is proving my point without bloodshed it's even called point sparring and points are being made points have been made lift up your heads you gates lift them up you ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord Almighty. He is the king of glory. Response, ability. Man up and take responsibility. Ver and virtue means man. The divine verdict is on the lips of the king. Proverbs 16.10. It ends with me afterwards. There's no moral path. You're sealed in hell. I've earned that right. And the lion of Judah, worthy to open the scroll. The lion, not the snake, not the sheep. Not the craftsman, not the nerd, not the book worm. The archaic word for snake is worm. The lion of Judah. The leopard is the lion on the war standard. And the falcon is the is like the angel principles that accompany the leopard. And the sun, Psalm 19, is a symbol of the bridegroom. Malachi 4, the sun in righteousness. How the sun walks on water. Righteousness on the people of water. Uh, the water represents people in Revelation. Okay, righteousness on water. Okay, Malachi and Revelation. Okay, so the people died in the state of righteousness, living and dying for righteousness, and they say, how long, sovereign and true? That's what they're saying, they're communicating by their existence, by what's happened, by the type of people we have around, by the heavens declaring the glory of God, Psalm 19, in various ways they've communicated to me. Avenge us, seal these worms, and those punk-ass sluts that rode the betas, 
which is beast scrambled. They rode the beast, the brute beasts. They rode the sniveling animals who don't love God enough to rally and obey God through the anointed. Those who conspire and plot in vain because they are inferior. You motherfuckers are sealed like the bitches you are. Time is short. Some of you have the option. You, some of you may run very well, run and obey in due time. But make no mistake, you do so as late ninnies when you should have done so the whole time. You know, you attractive females, how stupid are you for not throwing yourself at me when you know that I'm shunned by attractive women? How fucking dumb are you? How pathetic is your judgment? Shame on you and shame on your families.